Hey everybody, happy Friday. In this episode of the Mile High Biker, we're gonna be doing some work on the Rad Mission 1, putting an upgrade on there, and just cleaning some things up. Plan is I got the upgraded LCD display for the Mission 1. We're gonna be installing that. I might tool around and try to find how you can unlock 25 miles an hour. I heard that was a thing. From, uh, heard that from uh, one of my viewers who commented, thank you, I forget your name, sorry. But he clued me in. Apparently, in the settings, you can unlock 25 miles an hour. So we'll be checking that out, see if we can do that too. to the fun part got a couple of pit stops before I actually get home oh god come on battery cut throughs are so much fun though The THC bearing gift has been acquired. First pit stop taken care of. So is having a motor on your bike too much fun? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, I think that's enough fooling around with the fun stuff you can do in this little shortcut. Let's go to our second pit stop on the way home. Uh, this is not the best place to tie up my bike, but it's just a quick pit stop. I haven't tried this yet. All right, weekend libations of both kinds have been acquired. All right, so this video is supposed to be about some upgrades to the e-bike, the Rad Mission today. So enough tooling around, we've got LCD upgrade. We're gonna install that, see how hard it is. Um, from what I read already from the directions, it looks pretty easy, so shouldn't take too long. And then we've got some other things. I'm gonna get rid of this sticker, it's ugly. So inside the box, we have the display, which we'll, we'll go over. Um, guess off the bat, the only question I have is, can you still see this at night? Is it backlit? I don't know. They give us some spacers and some zip ties. The controls, the plug, some directions. There are no pictures. So, you gotta read, man. You gotta read these things. It says to gather flat coaters. A three millimeter allen wrench and zip ties all right step one done step two turn off the bike done twist apart and unplug the display connector so this is the current display that is on the mission 
the one that comes with it. Uh, friends of mine that have the Rad Runner, it's the one that comes with that too. So I think it's just the basic one. So I'm going to have to cut this zip tie, this zip tie, and then I'm going to have to unplug this, and then down here. Oh man, does that work? Is that focusing? That is supposed to be the three millimeter that I unscrew. Using flat cutters to cut this. Um, boy, I really wish I could just like get in there. <laughs> just gotta be obviously be careful. Uh, not to actually cut a wire. Duh. Okay. Alright. Those two zip ties are removed. Next step is to remove this. Um, which was already loose. Oh, because it screws in. And then you, um, you pull it off. Oh. Well. Okay, you might want to check yours and just make sure that's tight. I've rattled that loose probably like within two days and didn't even know. <clears throat> Let me pause here for a second while I have both of these in my hand and just say that I have my suspicions that I might actually not really love the full upgraded display. Um, and even maybe the unlocked 25 miles an hour. The reason this, this is so simple, and I've noticed that from riding the Solterra, the seven speed with the full, really beautiful event and display, um, I, but I was looking at it a lot. It, it simply was a distraction, and I don't know how safe that is with me out in traffic. Um, I'm looking at my speed, I'm looking at how many miles I have, so on and so forth, and I appreciate knowing those things, um, I do appreciate that I, I don't know how many miles are on this bike yet. I just started riding it and I haven't tracked anything on an app or anything like that. So I appreciate knowing that, but I don't know if it's really the best thing for me safety-wise and honestly while riding uh, the bike. The other suspicion I have with the 25 miles an hour is the spinning cadence of this thing at 20 miles an hour is already faster than what I was used to before, like ever. Faster than I'm normally comfortable with. I'm kind of getting used to it now, but at 25 miles an hour, now of course I could just put a bigger, smaller single speed cog on the back. Maybe that's the trade-off, maybe that's what I would do make the gear harder and then it won't be so bad when I'm at 25. But let's let's give it a shot. Let's see if we like it. I think I like that. It'll it'll go like that. Right like that. Back on it. What is cool about this display now is that I will have the ability, if it ever the need arises, to charge in something because you have you can connect USB to it. Now I don't know if that means there's other things you can do with that USB connection. Um, I think it's just probably intended for charging your phone up a little. All of these so far use a three millimeter. It's nice that one isn't a different size. I think it's really annoying on other bikes when now granted it's between like brakes and shifters or something like one's a four and one's a five and I don't know. Maybe it's a dumb thing to complain about but I mean they could just 
freaking pick a size. All right. The next thing is this needs to get plugged into that. So, okay, I guess I don't, you just gotta, how do you know? Oh, there is a notch. Okay, and the notch goes there. And the notch is there and there. They're not necessarily like the easiest things to line up, but it's not too hard. I think that if you try to force these, uh, yeah, you might damage something. So, there is a tiny little notch. Look out for that. Let's go ahead and cinch this little, make him a little snug like a bug. I'll probably do the same for this one. I gotta say, that was pretty easy and quick. And so I believe that if I hold the mode button, holy shit. The bike is turned on and it is backlit. So there's my new display. The lights came on. Everything still seems to work. Now the old display has like a light switch. And so I don't know how to turn the lights on and off. It didn't really matter. I always had them on. Oh, maybe that's mode. Oh, that's trip. Odometer trip. Okay, so if I hold mode, it turns off. Okay, hold mode, it turns on. Here is my... Oh, I guess this is... Oh, that's interesting. They have little names for each level of pedal assist. One is Eco. Two, apparently, I'm going to say standard. Power mode and speed. Ah. And it doesn't go any higher, right? And there's watts, wattage. I don't know what that means. Okay, battery indicator is backwards. On the other one, it would it would be full and then go this way as it drains. This one is going to be full here and go this way. This is a minor little difference. Okay, I'm sure there's a way to operate this that I don't know. I don't even know how to turn the lights on or off. And then how to get into the settings and unlock 25 miles an hour. What am I going to do about not knowing how to do this stuff? We're going to Google it. I also kind of just think that this display is like huge. And just looks kind of bulky on the bike. Maybe that's just me. Okay, so I just Googled it and that took all of about two seconds. Thank you Rick Wanamaker for sharing how to do that. He showed how to do it on his Rad Runner Plus and it looks pretty pretty easy. I'm gonna watch it one more time all 58 seconds of uh, this process and then I'll show you guys how to do it on yours. Let me turn it on by holding mode and that turns on the display. So he said what you want to do is hold your up and down arrow buttons both at the same time and it changes to uh, this which I'm actually going to need to change now that I realize this because I'm pretty sure these wheels are actually 650B so shoot while I'm in here So 650B or 27.5 is not actually a choice. Um, so maybe my speedometer is going to be off. Anyways, I'm going to hit mode. And now I just hit the center button one time to get me here to where it says 32 kph, 32 kilometers per hour, which is 20 miles an hour. We're going to bump that up. Oh, okay. Nope, let's go to 40. Uh, it only goes as high as 40. 40 kph, 25 miles an hour. 
using the up arrow and now I'm supposed to hold mode to save this and there we go uh, so supposedly I can go 25 miles an hour alright so I just took it for a little spin and 22.6 was about actually the fastest the speedometer on the display said but they don't have 650B or 27 and a half as options on the wheel size so I put it at 28 and I'm assuming then it's close but the speedometer is not necessarily accurate so I will have to test it out with my phone on that uh, app there's you know or Strava or whatever that tells you your speed and we'll see what it is it certainly felt faster than it went before so I, I think yeah my I've unlocked some more power. Um, I'm a heavier rider, so not as much power as you might unlock if uh, if you get one of these. Now I'm going to move on to a couple other things. First of all, I know I didn't do a video on the fenders, but I do have fenders. The bike is pretty dirty right now. Um, these are the fenders from Red, and they're great. They went on great easy to install another upgrade that I didn't do anything about or show anything about was the kickstand from Rad so I did add the kickstand because leaning this thing all the time you can do it and it's pretty safe especially um, since they put the the chain tensioner in the on the inside over here you know there's it's you can lean it down on its side you can lean it up against things no problem but it is nice to have the kickstand. You can adjust. You can adjust the lean angle. It's fine the way it is. All right, this ugly sticker. Always wear a helmet while riding a bike. Failure to do so could result in serious injury and/or death. Ah, fuck it. Let's go to hot heat. Hot heat, please. Come on, hot heat. Okay, so another upgrade that I did that I didn't tell or didn't um, say anything about yet was the Redshift lit pedals. The lights are inside charging, so I will do a, a better video and, and show you all these. Um, well, I hope you're finding a way to put riding a bike into your daily life. Remember to keep both wheels on the ground, and I'll see you guys in the next one.